It's time to vote for your December Ride of the Month. Vote A for Holly Doyle's record-breaking ride aboard Class Clown at Southall. Drawn widest of all, Holly Doyle was already set a tough task in her aim to break the record for most wins for a female jockey in a calendar year. The pair were wide from the get-go and Doyle had to encourage Class Clown to keep the tabs on the leaders. Entering the home straight, Doyle had her intended path blocked but switched inside and burst through the gap to challenge the leader. They began to pull clear and Holly galvanised Class Clown to get up in the dying strides for a very famous victory. Class Clown though battling back is going to be right on the dot. Class Clown's got there. Holly Doyle's done it. Vote B for Danny Cook's top class ride aboard Talk of Gold at Hexham. As the race begun, Danny Cook was keen to be positive with Talk of Gold in the early stages and his mount responded by jumping boldly. Cook was keen to remain in front, giving Talk of Gold reminders with a circuit to go and riding her along as their three length advantage began to diminish. Talk of Gold started to lose her position and Danny Cook used all of his nows to keep tabs on the others. But she responded to pressure and the pair showed great tenacity to power clear and win well. This has been an absolute tour de force here from Danny Cook on board the mare Talk of Gold who's going to come home here and win her first chase. Vote C for Jason Hart's determined effort aboard Proclaimer at Newcastle. Breaking on terms from the stalls, Jason Hart and Proclaimer were happy to settle in the middle of the pack, but at halfway, Hart had to give his mount some reminders as they began to get outpaced. Proclaimer responded well, but still was a long way off the leaders approaching the final furlong. The pair looked down and out, but managed to find the change of gear and flew late to take the spoils in a thrilling victory. They're all finishing really well. Proclaimer and Barriar have come there right on the wire. Very close. Vote D for Brian Hughes's Never Say Die effort on Let Me Be at Newcastle. From Flagfall, Brian Hughes and Let Me Be travelled prominently and did so for the majority of the junior bumper. Turning into the home straight, Hughes had a battle on his hands with the stronger travelling who won the toss, looming up sides dangerously. Hughes got to work on Let Me Be, but the task looked too difficult for the pair as his rivals took a solid half a length lead. But Hughes and Let Me Be were not to be denied, and Hughes rallied his mount to dig deep and find more, catching the leader in the dying strides to record an unlikely victory. Who won the toss with Let Me Be getting back up on the far side, and Brian rides 100 winners into Christmas. Vote E for Richard Kingscutt's remarkable win aboard Kayser at Wolverhampton. Breaking badly from the inside draw, Kayser was slow to get into stride with Richard Kingscote and they were relegated to last place. As the leaders kicked entering the home bend, Kayser and Kingscote were still at the rear of the field. When asked for an effort, Kayser began to respond, but still had a huge amount of ground to make up. Even in the last half of Furlong, Kayser had lots on his plate, but Kingscote galvanised his mount, who flew through a gap to record an amazing victory on the Wolverhampton all-weather. It's Kayser from out of the clouds has come through and may have nicked it on the line, last to first. To be in with a chance of winning a £50 funded account courtesy of Race Bets, head over to attheraces.com forward slash ride and cast your vote for the December Ride of the Month.